Keith has a question. Keith, thank you. He says, eSports games, 1080p, 144 hertz. Would a 3050 pair well with the leftover 11400, 11700? 11700? Can, can I talk you into a 3060? Yeah, no, um, I wouldn't do a 3050. Yeah, but you could. Oh, 11400, but not the not the 11700. Buy one level up from what you think you need. Even though it's left over. Is I the, wouldn't call an 11700 left over, but is okay. Is the 3050 left over? <laughs> that just gave what's, out. What's left over? I, you know what? If it's all you can get at a reasonable price, fine. But right now... The 3050s, if you're buying them new, are running close to $500. You can buy a 3060 for about 150 bucks more. I think a 3060 for $150, a 3060 for 600 versus a 3050 for 450. I think the 3060 all day long and twice on Sunday is worth 150 bucks. But that's my take. 12 gigs of VRAM, more performance. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. Exxon has a question. Oh, Johnny Five. Oh, you're popping up all over the place. Hope you're well. Yes, hope you are well too. Was wondering what your opinion is on the AO push pull fan setups. Mining on my Solo 3090 until D Day, <laughs> and I filled e every 120 mil fan slot in that bugger uh, for cooling at 90 degrees C. I think push pull fans are overkill. The liquid cooler, unless you're using like an EK water blocks or a Super premium Here, thick. He's got more. To add to my question, the case is a 5000D, so the Corsair, with 13 uh, 120 fans. 13? How did you have enough fan headers to do that? An H158 Corsair AIO as well, and a 5950X, and um, he's got the uh, Strix 3090 on it. <laughs> to answer the fan headers, the Corsair 5000D has a four fan controller Splitter, basically, not oh, a controller. Well, there you go, you so, plug yeah. into one motherboard port and provide six connectors for fans, so that helps tremendously. And um, it's PWM, so it passes it through to the fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, putting that issue aside, oh, okay, fine. You can do push pull. You, I mean, <laughs> you get a fan, and you get a fan, and you get a fan. <laughs> live it this way. Typically, I think Johnny when, likes his fans. Typically, when somebody says to me, "Should I tweak this? Should I optimize this? Should I add this fan? Should I do this? Should I do this?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, this is like, this is like taking your run of the mill Mustang and spending a bunch of time and energy trying to tweak it and get more power out of it. Yeah, you can, but it's not going to turn it into a Ferrari." But if you own a Ferrari and say you want to tweak it, well, you know what? You're <laughs> you're already past reasonable. Go for it. Mr. Q's like, I've got 15 fans. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Pads are magic. Um, there was something. Oh, Greg. Ma Greg says, make sure you measure the pads to make sure you get the right thickness of pads because some pads are thicker than others. He's right there. He's a box fan. All right. Let's see. Okay. We're going to try to talk junior deals into doing some, some repad videos on GPUs. There you go. Uh, and Nathan, thanks for seven months. He says, what do you think of the Gamers Nexus Newegg issue? I think it's a result of Newegg becoming a very large impersonal company. And I think it's unfortunate. Uh, I believe his situation. I, I will say this. If you want to order computer parts online, you really have two places to do it from, Amazon and Newegg. And I think it sucks that we only have two places to do it from. Um, and you have to make sure that you really read what you're buying. He bought an open box motherboard, but you know you know what? That's not Steve's fault. That's, no. that's Newegg's fault for not doing that right. Exactly. What I will say is this. I've had mostly good experiences with Amazon and Newegg and I've had bad experiences with both Amazon and Newegg. We have. If I cut off a company because of a bad experience, I'll have no one left to do business with. Mm. 
if you boycott Newegg and then you boycott Amazon, because if you're willing to, let me say this, if y'all are willing to boycott Newegg, yeah, just might as well go ahead and put Amazon right on the list because Amazon is 10 times a larger garbage company than Newegg is. Um, Good luck searching for your list. Then what are you going to do? You know, if you live next to a micro center, great. But otherwise, what are you going to do? Go to Best Buy? Yeah. So. But we feel for Steve because we've been in his situation. And so listening to everything he was saying, it was like, yeah. I believe him. I don't yep. for one second doubt him. No. Nope. I. <sighs> that either someone at Newegg's is going to fix it or they're not. Well, they'll fix it because he's Gamers Nexus. But, I know. But. I, <sighs> so. But at some point, I it, it was going to happen. It was just a matter of who it was going to happen to because some people are louder than others. And quite honestly, I think it's the right person to happen to because he he can affect a change. So it's a bummer that it happened, but I think policies will change with this having had happened. So, sorry. You think so? I think so. I think Newegg is bigger than you give it credit for, and I think Steve is smaller than you give him credit for. They will look like they're doing something for him. Newegg is a big company that is actually part of an even bigger company. The only reason you got a response is because they're not Amazon. If they were Amazon, they oh, wouldn't no. have cared. Oh, no, he was Amazon? Oh. Um, I would love to be wrong. I don't see it changing. We will see. Burn says, screwed by eBay sellers twice. I don't blame eBay. Yeah, I mean, you can cut eBay off, but it's just... It's, you, you either accept that risk doing business online like that, or you just... Or you don't. Jeff says they didn't fix it until they found... Oh, sure. I'm sure many average people have run into that problem and gotten screwed over. Um, here's the problem. People bring it up and they're outraged. They scream and yell and they throw their arms around. Steve made a... Steve made a video twice as long as it needed to be because he... he he did what I used to do, which is run in circles, which I don't do anymore. Of course, I'm, I'm concise and straight to the point. Ab yes, absolutely. Go on. So he ranted about it, but at the end of the day, okay, now what? Rarely does everybody who's outraged about anything ever want to answer the question, or then what? Or so now what? Or 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 else what? This is outrageous. I think this is absurd. Okay, now what? Well, well but they should change this. Um, I think a lot of companies should do a lot of things. You know, you want to get outraged? Hold on. Um... Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> what lunatic lets me tweet this much? I should be fired from Twitter. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You want to get outraged. You want to get outraged. I'm looking. Oh, good Lord. You got RSI yet? Well, while you're doing that... Uh, Jonathan, thank you for the Canadian maple syrups. He said he's made about $700 through mining last year and he's slowly watching his money grow through crypto earn on CDC. So thanks for your advice, Tech. You're very welcome. Excellent. Thanks, Jonathan. Tulsi Gabbard tweeted this out regarding some issues and I retweeted it and added something that I think a lot of people weren't aware of. But actually, I had several people reply to me and they're like, really? No idea. Several people had no idea that they were involved in this stuff. Have you heard of, how do you pronounce that name? Monsanto, yes, I Monsanto. have. You've heard of Monsanto. I have. Monsanto, how they continue to exist as a company is beyond me. Did you know they used to sponsor an entire pavilion at Disney World? Hmm. 
no. about their chemical fibers and their chemical products and how great they were. And there were all these examples. There was this whole ride that Disney World had. They put this whole thing together that ran for more than 10 years, demonstrating how all of their chemical products were going to make people's lives at home better. Oh. Right. It's no longer there, is it? Of course not. Monsanto has been involved in poisoning people since they manufactured Agent Orange during Vietnam. How they still exist as a company is beyond us. So they've been fined, but it's just the price of doing business. They, they donate millions of dollars to politicians, and she's complaining. For those of you who don't know, she's the former congresswoman from Hawaii who ran for president in 2016 or whatever it was. But she basically is complaining about what this this company does genetic modified crap. They oh, don't take responsibility. Monsanto has been on the on the garbage. radio for a long time. Are you aware that they made Agent Orange in Vietnam, which has killed and maimed thousands and people. thousands of people? And several people were like, "What? They did that crap?" Mm -hmm. My point is. Look, I don't want to be whataboutism. I get it. You could respond with that. So, oh, well, you're just deflecting and saying this. No. What New Egg did to Steve Burke is, is crappy. Yeah. They should change your policies. I only have so many hours in the day to be outraged at something. That's not it. You want to be outraged, be outraged at something important. The crap that Monsanto does is more important. There's so many other things to be outraged about. You don't want to buy from Newegg, don't buy from Newegg. Buy from Amazon. You don't like Amazon? eBay. Don't like eBay? I don't actually know where to send anybody else. Nope. What are your other options? I think the real problem is the fact that they're... Well, part of the problem is there's no profit margin on this stuff. Mm -mm. I think one of the reasons why there are no stores left to buy any of this stuff in is there's no money in it. We watched a video from we the 8-Bit guy the other day mm -hmm. talking about why have all these stores gone and it's not online shopping that destroyed all the computer stores. I mean, that's part of it. They just didn't keep up with the times. They didn't have anything to sell. Well, the, they didn't have anything to sell and the, the margins got squeezed. The prices dropped so far that a 10% margin when things were three grand was $300 and you could run a store on $300. When the $300, your margin is 30 bucks. How do you even run an online store when your margin is 30 bucks on a $300 item? I know. Everybody wants the cheapest prices, the fastest shipping, and the widest selection. I'm really curious how long Microsoft is gonna last. Cause there's just not enough stores, I mean. We've been in Micro Center, and outside of launch events and it's outside of Saturday afternoon, it's dead. Dull, and it's I don't know. There's no experience going there. It's it. R one in Dallas is lame. It is. If you I, live somewhere where your Micro Center is good, good for you. But yeah. the manager of the Dallas store sucks. I don't know. Sorry, Micro Center. You must be sleeping it in the does. wheel, but there's so many changes, and uh, there's too much stuff in the store. It's too crowded, and there's all that old crap, and there's all well, that overseas. There's other places to buy. We're talking about the U.S. But the U.S. B and H. Mm. Uh, not in the U.S. Their selection. No, it's that's not a reliable place to buy computer stuff. You'll find a CPUs there occasionally. You'll find a couple things, but that's not what they do. And Best Buy doesn't have a lot of stock. Best Buy. I'm floored they're still in business. Is it Geek Squad keeping them in business? Probably. Services. TVs, computers sure aren't, extended warranties. Yeah. Best Buy is handy for certain things on short notice, but of course everybody's experience is different. Maybe you live next to an amazing Best Buy with great product selection. And oh, great... our Best Buys here are terrible too. Nah. Empty, their shelves are empty, and it's just... I miss CompUSA. Never thought I'd say that. Will says he's noticed that. And Computer City. Although Computer City never could compete with CompUSA well enough. Their selection was always weird. Someone says the New Jersey Micro Center is always booming. Oh, there you go. Not here. Dead as a doornail. Uh, Roxy, thank you. He said Sony revealed the current CES. Well, we really didn't watch that. An Apple car coming for sure. Yeah, there is an Apple car coming. 
Uh, KJWBR, thanks for Canadian pesos. I'll super chat 100 when your beer gets to ZZ Top Proportions. <laughs> How to CGI beer to ZZ Top Proportions. <laughs> I need to... You need to put the things in it. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.